So have you ever had these pencils that are like four, five, maybe even six, seven, eight, maybe even nine, ten, maybe even eleven? I don't know how long they are, but these are long pencils, as long as my hand. And sometimes they're just too long and you want to take them down a peg. And the, the little hand held sharpeners just don't do it. And the electric sharpeners don't do it because you don't want to run up your electrical bill. So you get one of the good old-fashioned wall-mounted grindy wheelie pencil sharpeners. And I, I, mounted mine, I mounted mine just to a, a random board so that it was more mobile. Not exactly pocket size still, but I can put it in different places. And I just grinded them down to a, more, a, a size I prefer better. Um, plus, this way, I have a bunch of, I, I took all the pencil shavings, the, is it, could I call it sawdust in this case? Pencil sharpener dust? And I put it all in a little Tupperware container so that I can smell it later whenever I want to feel a little bit comforted. I think maybe if there was a, a rainy day and I could hear the rain on the window and if I was kind of wrapped up in a blanket a little bit. And if I took that, that Tupperware full of pencil shavings and I cracked it open and just took a little whiff, I, I only want to take a little whiff every now and then because I don't want to like use up all the smell. Can something give off so much smell that it can't give off any smell anymore? Cause I don't want to, I want it to last long as possible. Anyways, I'll be all bundled up cozy with it raining outside pitter pattering on the window and I'll be petering inside and I'll just take a little whiff of those pencil shavings and it will smell so good and I might just have a cozy overload and I just might keel back and, and take a nap and if you want to get real dangerous find a fireplace get a fire going I don't have a fireplace here and I don't think I should start a fire here anywhere maybe I could let some water boil over. I don't know, but I did a little. I did a little pencil drawing here. Uh, obviously, at the beginning of the video here, you see the first part of it is a pencil drawing, and I obviously couldn't draw too much because uh, my pencils were too short and they ran out really quick, and I couldn't hold them. It was a uh, is an unmitigated disaster. So obviously, every time I draw with anything that is not a pen. The whole time I'm drawing with anything that's not a pen, in this case a pencil, a very short pencil, I'm thinking about my sweet love, the pen, in the back of my mind, and how wonderful it would be to be drawing with a pen at that very moment. And so, uh, after not too long, I finished my, I, well, I took my pencil drawing and called it finished, and pulled out my, my pen-filled sketchbook, and pulled out my pens and did a pen drawing like I had always wanted to do, like I had always been destined to do, at least that day. And maybe it would have been perfect if I had been wrapped in a blanket and rain had been pitter pattering on a window. That I could have, in that moment, drawing with a pen, I think I could have even. I would have given up smelling pencil shavings for drawing with a pen. I think I like drawing with a pen that much. I do. What would, what would, 
to find out what you should do with your life, ask what you would give up smelling pencil shavings for. Not a lot of things, probably. Not a lot of things. Not me. I would give up smelling pencil shavings to... And not a lot of things come popping in my head. But I will probably sharpen some more pencils soon and uh, restock my supply of, I mean, you know, fill up. My Tupperware is not full. It's like a, it's like a one quart Tupperware. And you can see there I didn't have a whole quart of pencil shavings. So I'm pretty excited about the possibilities there. And uh, just like all the scents and the smells. Some of it, like what... Do you think they sell, like, artisanal pencils made out of, like, different... Some woods smell very good, like, uh... What are the really good ones? Cedar. Cedar smells incredible, doesn't it? Can I get cedar pencils to sharpen? Hmm. I can't, I can't think off the top of my head which ones smell good. Pine? It's got a significant... I mean, a distinct scent, right? For some reason, mahogany's popping into my head, but I think I really just like saying the word... Mahogany. Now you try. Mahogany. That's a dark one, right? Like a dark, like a, like a rich red color. I think I learned that from RuneScape. I think there's mahogany in RuneScape. I used to go onto some island and cut mahogany trees. Mostly I cut yews, though. I've, n I've never actually seen a yew tree in real life, I don't think. All right. Okay. Okay, goodbye. All right. I'm going to go smell my pencils, pencil shavings, and uh, hopefully not spill them. I should probably get that Tupperware insured against spillage. And do you think that stuff, it probably burns pretty easy, doesn't it? That's scary. All right, goodbye. Goodbye.